Who wrote out Sonia Gandhi's speech, that inner voice speech when she declined? Who wrote it? You have to no, tell us that. No, I'm not going to say <laughs> that uh, because... Uh, you should give us a guess <laughs> of who it is. I was told it is one of the editors of a national daily. <gasps> oh, it's a journalist who wrote that. Manmohan Singh was a very weak prime minister. But he turned up uh, seeing through this Indo-US nuclear deal uh, right to the end. He did not give up. That is another thing she had, Indira Gandhi, the ability to take risks. Had Sanjay been alive, what, where India would have been, where the Congress would have been, we can only conjecture about. Unlike her father, she was not uh, ideological. She once said this to a UP leader, Mera baap santha main nahi hu. You know, it was Rahul who prevented his mother from becoming Prime Minister in 2004. Yeah. My daddy died, was killed. My father was killed. In six months, you will be killed. Hmm. And uh, you take 24 hours to decide. If you go ahead, I will do something drastic. Sonia Gandhi didn't want Rajiv to come into politics. Now, in terms of Rahul, she's wanted to. Yeah. That's a difference. As a person to revive the Congress party, hmm. to be the conscience of the Congress party, Rahul would be good. But as a prime minister, the Congress was a big umbrella party under which all could coexist. Later, of course, things became different. How true is this charge of this Darbar, this Latians elite? As I said, Darbar politics is a common. Everyone has it. Everyone has it. Just the Darbaris change. The Beaufort story was leaked by Arun Nehru to the Swedish radio. And this is his conjecture. He said, Arun Nehru leaked this to Swedish radio and we knew it. Hmm. We need to have strong institutions. Without that, our democracy is not going to be secure. And that India needs to be run like a coalition. But, you know, political reporting also has changed, if you notice. Hmm. Politicians are doing one-way communication. How uh, it was during Indira's time, emergency versus Modi's time, which is undeclared emergency feeling the pulse of an aspirational India. He's very good at that. He's pitching all the time. It's not a doom and gloom story he's putting out. Mm. It's aspirational. This this is where we are going. This is what we are going to achieve. How we are going to do it is not the always is spelled out, out at but all. We will be wishful or the detailing it. as with demonetization. Institutions under pressure, media under pressure, judiciary under pressure, and so on. But I would say, uh, undeclared emergency, I would not say. Hmm. During the emergency, you and I could not be talking like this. 